screen, so. Okay, I'm here with the editorial team and we are gonna test drive Netlify CMS for uh, publishing a blog post or at least starting the draft for it. So one moment, I will share my screen. Okay, let's get rid of the Zoom window. So I figured that start uh, on this handbook page because this is where people will come to first. So, um, I'll just uh, go right in. I did open up this uh, video here because um, it walks through step-by-step step what we're gonna do now. So if you wanna have something to refer back to, um, but I figured, yeah, let's, let's try this one live. So when we are here, we go to blog posts and they said, we don't need to wait for everything to load here because it takes a while. You can just go straight to new blog posts. And Hopefully we'll uh, find ourselves in a WYSIWYG. Um, okay, this is, this is where we get started. So I've got this draft here and, oh, I just realized I forgot to finish writing the description. So maybe you two can help me with that. <laughs> um, but I'll just, I, I started filling out the front matter as normal because I knew that we would need some of these fields anyway. Um, Let's just ooh, suggested that. Um, I'm just going to put GitLab in here. And feel free to stop me if you have questions or you want to try something out. So you don't have to tote like at GitLab or at Rebecca? I, I'm assuming no, because we don't in the front matter. Um, but I guess we're going to find out. Okay. Um, okay, so I started, I actually don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this live. I find it very hard to, to think of these things off the cuff. So I'm just gonna put a dot dot here. Um, and then um, I think for this one, I was gonna go no image and then it will just use the default image for the engineering category uh, as the like open graph image when it's shared on social because I have an image that I wanna put into the body of the blog post, which we can try um, with the uh, with the like picture selector that they have. So let me just uh, pop this in here. Um, so my understanding is you can either use this as a WYSIWYG um, or I don't know why that's defaulted to bold, or you can do it in Markdown and then use the the Markdown that you're familiar with. Um, if you do it in Markdown, I think, let's just try and make this bold. I think if you switch it over to rich text there, you can see it rendering. So depending on what you, you prefer. Um, I think what I did actually, because I'm just so used to it is when I was using the Google doc, I did it in Markdown. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, so just by force of habit. So we'll probably, we'll probably do it that way. Um, but let's, uh, think here we go so I need to upload an image actually hold on um I need to add an image in the body so maybe I need to do that here yes okay so this is for the cover image or the hero image up here but if you want to do it in the body you need to be on rich text and then you can go to the plus sign and add it there so um Let's upload, um, where did I, I think I put it in downloads, here we go. Okay. All right, so uh, this is like a, like a hokey programmer joke, which uh, I, I, I did run this post by Brendan on a coffee chat earlier and uh, he, I, he gave it the, the okay. <laughs> Cause I was like, I'm the most novice of programmers and there are some like little in jokes in here. So I wanted to make sure I'm not uh, doing anything that's gonna make people groan. Um, okay, so that's the image gone in there. And then I think from here, we can probably just copy and paste all of this. Sorry, let me do this properly. Um, and this one is interesting as well cause we had the image and then I've also added some tweets and I just grabbed the embed code for the tweets. Oh, there's another 
there's another image so we'll go up to the image and uh it will be interesting to see if like literally just pasting everything in renders it the way i expect so i imagine these tweets will not render properly in this little preview it might only look right once we actually get the review app um let me just remove some of these extra spaces sorry i'm just like motoring away here please stop me if you're getting lost or anything What I probably should have done is made this plain text before I copied it directly from the Google Doc. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Okay, um, I need the screenshot here. So we'll go back to image. Oh no, shoot. Sorry, I've been in rich text this whole time. I wonder if it will work. Okay, sorry, bear with me. I'm gonna, So it seems to me it's going to be easier to like pick one or the other and stick with it. Because um, if you switch between rich text and markdown, that seems to not work, um, but we can check. So I'm just going to remove this, go back to the markdown view and put that back there. And then see how. Sorry, I think maybe we need to get rid of these. They did show. Oh, there we go. So for some reason, switching between rich text and markdown, it adds these like backslashes, which then stop it from kind of reading the where you where you're doing the H twos and stuff. So sorry, you can tell that uh, we haven't practiced with this yet. Um, okay, so we are now up to where I need to add an image here. Um, so if I go back to rich text and add image. Um, Hold on. Hang on, I'm just gonna pause sharing. If I can figure out how, one sec. I need to go and find where I had that image. Okay. one here. Oh no, sorry, I didn't already choose select. Okay. Um, all right, so we've added, um, I think we can add alt text and the uh, title in here. So I'll probably do that, but just for the sake of time, I, I won't do it uh, while, we're, while we're recording. Um, and then, Grab the rest, get back in markdown. Okay, and I think that's probably enough to go on for now. Um, I imagine I will still have some, some edits that I need to make to this, but from here, if we save, I think what then happens is if I go to merge requests, there might be a bit of a delay. Let's see how it's doing. So it's still saving. Um, I'll just give it a, a second. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, right, it's right in front of us. I was looking for um, the little message that I usually get when I push from my terminal, um, which uh, when then you have to go and create the merge request, but uh, Netlify has done that for us. So here we are with our merge request. And if we go to the changes tab, we can see 
it's created this, um, uh, I, I need to remove that. I think that was from when I first tried to add the image, but this looks uh, pretty much how it usually does when we create it ourselves. So I'm excited about that. Um, I clearly need to reduce the file size on this image. Um, that one's been added there. Um, and then what happens is, sorry, I'm just moving our faces out the way. It has this label added automatically. I'm gonna ask the team if we can have our other labels that we usually associate with blog post MRs added there automatically. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assign myself and do all of that. Um, and uh, I will hand this over to you, Sarah, when I've had a chance to make some of the changes. But um, how did that seem to everyone? Is there anything else you wanna try out? Um, it looks fairly straightforward. I like that you can see it on the right side. So it's how it renders. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there the ability to preview um, in the overview button or? Um, so yes, when when the pipeline passes, you will get a review up just as with all of them. And that will be a obviously a much fuller picture of what the post will look like than what you get in Netlify CMS. But if yeah, just for the sake of while you're drafting, knowing whether your formatting is right, it will you can see straight away if it's bolded or your image has been uploaded and, and all of that. Right. OK. Thanks. I have a question. So when it comes to actually editing the post, is it better to go back into Netlify to edit it? And then like, change, like, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm not totally sure like what the workflow will be when it comes to editing. Yeah, I, um, I would suggest watching this video, which I will share the link to, cause they do go through some of that, but it, it really, you can choose whichever is better for you. If you go um, back to the CMS or if, if anyone makes an edit to this post in the CMS, it will create a commit uh, when you save it and push it to the merge request and it will be associated with your gitlab.com profile. So there is that kind of version history there. Um, I imagine some people will prefer to keep just doing those edits on the merge request the way they're used to. Um, I still like having this option for suggested changes because I don't think we have a way of doing that in the CMS. So if there's just, I notice a typo or I have a comment like doing it that way, I think that's that's one of the things I've really enjoyed about using GitLab <laughs> to publish. Um, but uh, yeah, for, for everything else, I think it's fine to use Netlify because it's, it's not like uh, it disguises who's making those changes or what those changes are. You still do get to see the, the diff. Anything else? Um, oh, sorry, my uh, Zoom just kept like shooting away from me. But um, yeah, that was my uh, that was my um, main question. Was really just like the workflow around um, uh, editing. But it seems really straightforward in terms of like setting up your blog post um, with the WYSIWYG. So that's yeah, good. Um, one thing I'm not sure about. Um, and let me actually go back to rich text here is um, because, oh, here's this extra image, which let me just get rid of this. Um, actually, how do I, I know I saw Tyler remove this when he was, I wonder if I, oh, there, I just backspaced and then it's gone. Um, I don't know if there's a way to, because this is obviously showing up huge here um, because it is a huge image uh, in, size, uh, well, resolution. Um, I don't know if you can apply the like center or, you know, the shadow styling that we do uh, kind of manually at the moment. So I don't know if there's a way to do that. So I'd probably do that in the merge request um, where you add the, the curly brackets afterwards. Um, so that's something I, I would ask them as well. But uh, otherwise, like, yeah, just for doing most of the heavy lifting, this seems to be much simpler for us. <laughs> All right, well, if there are no other questions or concerns or anything, I think we can leave it there. Thanks, uh, Lauren and Tyler and everyone else from Digital Experience who worked on this. And thanks, Tina, for the shiny new layout, um, which I'm super excited to see more of. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there.